Well, the thing that spoke to me, this is based on a book called Tony and Susan, and the thing that spoke to me really is that this film is about finding people in your life that you love, who love you, who believe in you, and not letting them go. It's a cautionary tale about what can happen when you do let them go. There were a lot of challenges. It's really actually three storylines. It's the present world, it's a fiction, a work of fiction, uh, and then flashbacks to another. But they're really all the same story, and they start to spiral together so that I hope at the end the point is quite clear. Such a great cast. You know, when you have a wonderful cast, I think it's a director's safety net. You know that they're going to give you a good performance, and that's really my job as a director, is to respect each of their processes and create the environment where they can give their very best. It was terrifying to read, and I was so impressed with the way that Tom had crafted this story that exists um, not only in reality, but in the story, and then also past and present. And, and meeting him and him describing his intentions, it was something I was really fascinated with. Oh my gosh. Well, I think, I mean, working with Tom's amazing because you just get to be around Tom, and he has such a great energy, and he has a wonderful uh, sensibility about him. But as a director, it was great because he's extremely patient. He, he works in a way that allows you to breathe into the character, to take your time. And it allows for things to happen you didn't expect, and that's always fun. I mean, I, you know, it's rare that I, I have a funny way of reading scripts when I initially, when I read something. A lot of times it, it involves a sort of strange, it's a strange process. It's very rare that I will, I will read something all in one go and I will read it as quickly as I read this. Um, when I, I turn the last page, I remember sort of feeling this vibration that I feel like the audience now feels when they see the movie. I think when you do a movie, you lose the opportunity. When you're in it, you lose the opportunity to watch it. But if your response is the same as the audience's response to the movie as when you read the script, then I feel like it's been a success and I feel like that same vibration is in the audience. I was, um, I was moved, I, 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 I was um, sort of terrified also and, um, and I was left thinking about it for days afterward. I think I've just, I always like to be surprised, you know, I, I think I came in with my own judgment of Tom and that he, you know, runs this fashion empire and he's like this um, very well-mannered, um, uh, very well-spoken, um, somewhat calculated person in, in his public persona. And to see him a lot messier and emotional in, in the intimate, intimate space between actor and director was a, a surprise to me and a really welcome surprise. And I think that's um, something I cherish about Tom. My initial reaction? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a very brutal story. I was kind of scared of it. Uh, I wasn't sure I wanted to get mixed up in it because, uh, uh, you know, I have, I have young daughters and uh, I couldn't wrap my head around it really. It was, it was too much. But, uh, but once I met with Tom and I saw his passion for the project, uh, it was very infectious. You know? What was your favorite? I loved every second of it, you know, from uh, creating the look of the character was uh, so much fun, you know, all his ideas for the clothes and the, the haircut and the mustache and all that. Um, he created a very iconic look, you know, the same way he would uh, in, his, in his fashion world, you know. But then once we got on set and started doing the work, he was just very, uh, he was very respectful and kind and easy to work with. Oh, it was, uh, it was many things. I mean, firstly, it was a fantastic script that Tom adapted, uh, and a very ambitious one. Three stories that roll into one with such, um, such color to it already. You could already feel the contrast of these two worlds. And, um, uh, but I, I, was, I was a bit perplexed, if I'm honest. The role that he thought of me for is a, is a psychopath, essentially. So um, I had to think why he thought of me, and then I called him, and then we discussed. So I was a little hesitant, because it was a very dark character, but uh, you know, when you talk to someone like Tom, who's so articulate and eloquent, and knows exactly what he wants, is very particular, has a strong eye for detail, I knew right there and then I was gonna just put my trust in his hands and go for it, you know. Is there something more, is there 
I think it's a, I'm, I mean, I'm a creative person, so, uh, and, uh, you know, I'm interested in characters and I want to try and do things, so I like to explore and I like to be spontaneous, you know, I'm not someone who's rigid and believes in uh, reality so much. I think there's, you know, there's fantasy in this world, so, yeah. Uh, it really had more to do with the fact that Tom Ford was directing it than anything else. I never read the book, Tony and Susan, but uh, I knew that it was sort of like a bestseller and all that. But the fact that Tom Ford was going to direct another movie, period, whatever it was going to be about, I would have fought to be in it. So, And then I got lucky enough to be in it. Seeing his capacity for attention to detail. Like some people say, like, oh, I'm really detail-oriented and all that. You've never seen anything like it. He can walk into a room and give everybody a once-over and know exactly what needs to change, where people need to stand, move that art over there, change his bow tie to a tie, change his tie to a bow tie. In fact, just switch those, move that guy over there. I mean, it's just, it's amazing watching his actual process and watching him work. Probably more on the realist side, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, I also have no disillusions of grandeur in terms of how much control I feel like I have over everything. So I feel like I'm just kind of spectating anyway. It's, I mean, you know, we've all sort of read stuff that has physical violence, but I'd never read anything with such emotional violence, and so I was very intrigued by how you could execute that on screen, and I think Tom did a wonderful job. Tom did it beautifully. What was your favorite part of the movie? I think that my favorite part is that, you know, he began, I suppose, as a figment of my imagination. I, th I figured he'd be very unapproachable and very intimidating and he was so warm and such a dapper gentleman and so clever and so inspirational and such a true artist and with such a great eye for detail and just someone you could trust you know as an actor when you do a movie you know you're told what to say and told where to stand and even though you're involved in the creation of a character you're ultimately telling a story that somebody else is in charge of so when you can trust the storyteller everything's a lot easier he really is a gem. I mean, I think it's a cautionary tale about worshipping false idols. I think that there's a tendency to, you know, to chase after, you know, to sacrifice yourself at the altar of mammon, of money, of money, or to care about your status. And, and I think what this movie tells you is that you should follow your heart. And Amy's character makes a choice that impacts her entire life um, based on worshipping a false idol. Well, it's a really brave story in the sense that there's so uh, it's Shakespearean almost. I feel like he's kind of like you just want him. You want him to be a best friend, you know. He's sort of like has a really wonderful, fun energy and sends himself up all the time. Doesn't take himself too seriously. But you know, he's yeah, he's a great talent.